Allahu Akbar. I, th I think the main point to understand about Islamophobia is it is prejudice has been an issue in American history from day one. If you look at the letter Christopher Columbus sent back to Spain, uh, essentially the people that he ran into would make great slaves. Um, I'm summarizing what the man said, but that's what it kind of boiled down to. We, by working against prejudice targeting us, can help ease the pressure on our community. But the point that I want the room to embrace is that our, our faith doesn't accept that from us as being our goal. Our faith says, be a benefit to humanity. So if we want to live our faith, it is incumbent upon us to fight all kinds of prejudice. Do I think there's going to be some shining day in the future where prejudice is gone, dogs and cats are holding hands, and all will be perfect? Uh, I'm not one to buy into that idea. But I do believe that at least in the United States, we can preserve an environment where people who are prejudiced can say what they want to say, because welcome to the First Amendment, but they're going to say it in a dingy hotel room that they rented where nobody's listening to them, as opposed to while they're sitting in the White House, say, and while or while they're running for the White House saying, Islam hates us, I think that it's a great idea that we should have a Muslim registry or that Muslims should carry ID cards and any one of the other number of things that have been said by prominent officials in the United States. So our goal is to fight all forms of prejudice. I, and I think that will show our maturity as a community when we move beyond just Muslim issues into the social justice movement and being the tip of the spear, as it were, in the social justice movement in general. And in response to the gentleman's question in the back, there are a lot of different communities that come to us and want to partner on things, and we just have to do it in a sophisticated fashion. So where we may even have disagreements with some communities on certain issues, but there's areas where we can partner, let's be grown-ups and partner. Uh, where there are issues that we disagree and we feel like they're trying to use us, then we should be good allies and point out to them that we're uncomfortable with that and people need to reform things. It's not limited to any one particular background or ideology uh, or faith tradition. These are just basic engagement principles. So we should be looking across the board for other faith traditions that want to partner with us and where that partnership is about building a better America and an equal alliance, then we should embrace that and move forward with it.